Hello you guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Spend a few days with me. We are in the car because we are on our way to Ikea. Yeah, so we are on our way to Ikea this morning. It is 11.24, I have a little travel snack. You should be proud of me. Um, yeah, we're going to Ikea because last night I had this realization, well not even a realization, I was kind of just like, our bedroom is such estate like i don't even think you guys have seen it ever since i told you we changed the room around there's no organization we're gonna have a baby like there's no storage we need to fix this up so we're gonna head to ikea and get some storage boxes that is literally all i plan on getting i do not plan on getting anything else unless i do see anything else uh, that i like well it's ikea <laughs> unless, I can't avoid it. <laughs> unless i do see anything else that i like but i also was like oh my god the cinnamon buns i'm gonna get like 10 of them i'm gonna leave with 10 of them and i do not <laughs> care i will try and vlog when i'm in there the keyword is try and i'll see you guys when we're in there i like starting the vlog off in the car Oh, yes, I will hold my camera. <laughs> my camera won't fall down. It's ooh. We'll see. You. <laughs> it's pretty strong. Hey, well, this <laughs> Right, it is now 1.48. Oh my gosh, this car is a sauna. We're finished in Ikea. We got a good amount. We are taking a little trip to Danau. Love this one, it's nice. Can you even see? Oh my God, they look so good on the camera. So we're gonna get a lampshade for the living room. Um, and I like Danau, so we'll see what else we find. We need to get a car, because I'm, I'm passenger princess. I'm too spoiled now. Hello, hello. So we are back home. It had, we had a big downpour. We had a massive downpour. It's now five o'clock. We were out much longer than expected. We did not expect to be out for that long. I literally just wanted to go to Ikea, grab the stuff and go. But like I said before, we ended up going to Denelm. I did not film in there because like I said, it started to rain so heavy. We did find a lampshade for the living room not the vibe i was gonna go for but i do like it um we found it in tk max actually very happy with it and i am in the bedroom now and i don't want to show you what it's looking like because of course like the day that i picked to vlog it is a state like but then it looks like this all the time it's just because like guys there's no organization there's no storage in this house that's the first thing this house came unfurnished so everything in here is our furniture and we kind of just moved stuff that we already had. For example, the wardrobe that we have, I've had since I lived with my aunt um, and I bought it to be used as Amara's wardrobe when I lived with my aunt. It does not fit the bedroom. It is way too small for the bedroom. It's way too small for our clothes, for me and Corey's clothes. And as you guys know, I recently moved out of the office, which is now Amara's playroom, but we are debating whether to move it back to how it was before and then sort out the playroom situation like it's just very complicated and thrown in the mix of having a newborn even though we're not going to be living here for more than two months after the baby's born but still this house just needs some organization so i'm going to show you guys i'm going to show you yeah like i said we ended up buying these huge boxes from ikea put amara's toys in because amara has a bunch of toys even her playroom right now is packed to the brim. She does not need all those toys. And luckily we're gonna have a baby. So the toys will get passed down. They can play with it together. Okay, so first of all, you guys know the carpets are brown. I don't wanna talk about it too much. First off, this is something I'm returning from H&M that my order came um, yesterday. These shoes are not cute on me because my feet are wide. This is my clothing rail, which I think I'm just gonna fold down because currently it has jumpers new stuff that i've bought this is the wardrobe that i've had since i lived at my aunt's this is the inside i none of my belongings are in here this is all corey's stuff corey's clothes and then toys toys random suitcase these clothes need to go in the shed because these are clothes that no longer fit me so that's something i'm going to sort out as well these are a pile of clothes well half new clothes half 
old clothes. The clothes at the bottom are new clothes and the clothes at the top are um, clothes I recently got out of the shed that I'm swapping for autumn winter. And then we have this corner which is just a mess. We've got this massive chest of drawers, my pregnancy pillow. We've got this massive chest of drawers which if you remember, Corey found this in our old flat, like at our old flat on our road. He was literally going to the corner shops one night and saw this on the road and was like, just you want it? And I said, yes. Solid wood. Like this is very, very nice and probably very expensive. I don't want to get rid of this. This is like, I love this. I love how it looks, but it does not go in here. Do you see my dilemma? Look at the top of this also. Everything's just everywhere. This is wood. The bed is gray. The clothing well is white. The wardrobe is white. My office. My office. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Like this is just not cute. This is how it looks all the time. So yeah, that is the room. Look over there, like ignore my hand being the only thing in focus, but like, do you just see? It, it does not look like a functional room. This room has gave, gave me migraines since I moved in. Mostly when I moved in my clothing rail and when I moved in my office desk. I just don't film up here because it's just not cute. And this is very embarrassing for me to show, but I guess it's a transformation. So we all start from somewhere, so I'm not gonna say anything. But as you guys saw, we went to Ikea. We looked at some wardrobes. Um, I think we're just gonna go for a PAX unit. Everything just needs a space. So that's the main problem up here is just storage and everything just being everywhere. I do want my office back. I do, I won't even lie to you. I want my office back mainly because like my room is very noisy. Like this bedroom is very noisy and my desk is not like it's a nice working space but this is it's just not what i imagine i just need to play things out and see how things look but at the moment everything's everywhere like this chest of drawers is the biggest thing for me it, nothing fits in this room everything is mismatched it's so messy in here it's so cluttered it hurts my head this is supposed to be a bedroom a sanctuary a place to relax and it's not so <laughs> that's what we need to work on so give me some ideas if you guys have any i already know what i want to do with the space but if you have any feedback if you have any ideas let me know in the comments and then later on this evening corey is going to change the light fixings in the living room and then i also got this lampshade for amara's room basically the same one that i got for the playroom aka my old office just this paper light just because she has no light lampshade on her in her bedroom um and i've also done a little diy project that i'll show you guys later or tomorrow anyway i'm gonna stop talking i'll catch up with you guys a bit later on Day. this is a very bad place to pop the camera because my sink look at that you can see my my tap you can see the flowers um good morning you guys happy tuesday it is nine in the morning sure it's nine in the morning um but we're up making coffees you're gonna have your breakfast soon aren't you job do one more um amara loves Good job. You did a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, that's okay. Good job. Here you go, you pop the lid back on. No more, no more, no more. No, that's too much sugar for daddy. Too much sugar. Yeah, here you go. Oh, put the spoon back in. Drop the spoon. Here we go. That's just sugar. I not that bad. You didn't get burnt. No, you didn't. Don't be silly, Billy. Don't be silly, Billy. <laughs> So let's pour daddy's coffee and then you can have your cheese toasty now that it's cooled down. We mix mix daddy's milk. Pour daddy's milk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice and foamy. You want to say good morning to vlog? Oh, good morning. You look like a dark horse compared to me in a bar. Okay, you guys, so I'm sat at the dining table. It is a mess, so I'm not going to show you, but I did want to show you the lampshade that I do have in mind for the living room. However, the one that we've got, the one that you guys saw, is just temporary until I do find this. Um, this book, like I said, if you saw my birthday vlog, I talked about it a little bit. I'm obsessed with that. I'll leave it down in the description below. If you love like that home style, if you like my home, 
I promise you, you will love this book. But these type paper lights, I've got one over here for Amara's room and then we've got one in the playroom. But then like this shape, not like this one, this shape is what I'm on the hunt for. And I'm not even sure where to get one. Um, I saw Habitat Sainsbury's do one, but it's white and obviously our whole living room is white. So I feel like it will just blend in. Even though we've got the black, um, Fit fitting, I don't think it will look nice with it. But I did see something like this yesterday when we went into Danelle. Um, but I've just been flicking through the book, trying to get some more inspo, gorgeous little coffee table. And now I'm just about to browse a little bit and um, see what stores do the light. I don't even know what it's called, so I'm just gonna have to. Oh, I love that chair. Hold up, I have not even gone past a certain page, so I'm gonna keep reading this and then I will catch up with you guys when Corey finishes doing the light. now half five my hair's up in a bun um don't mind what it's looking like i'm in this gorgeous like i need to show you i don't even give you guys a haul i will give you a haul tomorrow i got this jumper when i told you guys in my birthday vlog that i done a h&m order i'll show you the stuff that i got in this vlog um but one of the things i got was this cream like it's really really nice material knit jumper i will leave this down below it's gorgeous this is my attempt of not wearing black because i told you guys i'm trying to not wear black especially for autumn winter i'm trying to incorporate some more nudes and colors into there not color but like brighter colors anyway cory and amara's just gone on a little walk before dinner i've just been listening to some music and chilling i'm going to show you guys what the chest of drawers is looking like i'm currently on H&M Home, Zara Home, Habitat. Like I'm on a bunch of websites right now looking for some home bits. Because the main things we are wanting to buy is a sideboard, a new wardrobe for our room, and like little home bits, and curtains for the bedrooms, for Amara's bedroom, for our bedroom, and a curtain pole for this. But let me show you what the sideboard's looking like. I love how the wood has adhered. Adhered? Is that the word? Has like taken in the paint wash i will show you a before and i'll show you what after this is not the final result but i will go over it in it with a second layer so compared to what it was looking like before as you can see the chest of drawers um the actual drawers is over there that's what it used to look like and this is what it is to looks like with the paint wash i love it i love how it's taken to it i'm gonna leave the back because i love how it's turned out i'm just gonna go over the top again and then corey um starts to go over the sides but i'm gonna do the sides now and then i'm gonna get started on the i don't know how many drawers like 20 drawers i'm gonna get started on the drawers and make it look nice for this evening i really want to get a new arch mirror so i'm on the hunt for one um but yeah and i'm gonna get some new cushions so once that's all done it's finally gonna look put together ignore the mess um and then finally i'll show you guys what upstairs is looking like currently again still a work in progress but that is the updates so far so i'm gonna get started on the sides i'm gonna get started on the drawers and see how much i do before this evening hello you guys happy wednesday it's literally like nearly four o'clock but i'm only just picking up the camera because i didn't even vlog this morning i got my nails done i changed the design because i really just i wasn't feeling the other nails that i got for my birthday they were cute they were nice but i'm a french tip girly through and through this just makes me feel more professional anyway also hair slick back we're in the natural state um i'm also in all black don't want to hear anything today was the day i had to wear all black okay it was for comfort Anyway, we went to Ikea today. We went back to Ikea and we picked up a sideboard. And it's a sideboard that I've wanted now for months. I've had my own it for months, but we've always just thought like, where are we gonna put it? Does it fit in the space? Thinking if we move into a smaller place, will it fit? Um, so we got one. It was either that or we were gonna get a chest of drawers for the baby and a wardrobe. So we're gonna get that 
soon. That's the next one we're gonna get. But anyway, like I said, it's nearly four o'clock. We've just got home. I said I wasn't gonna spend the whole day out. We left at like just after 12. We got some other bits, like for example, I picked up some new cushions. Well, the cushion insert and the cover. Just picked up two of these same ones um, for our bed slash maybe the living room. I don't know. I'm changing around the decor in the house. And we also finished the chest of drawers that's downstairs now. I look like an egg, so don't mind that. And the light in the background. Um, we finished the chest of drawers, but it looks so much lighter than it did last night. Last night, it looked so much darker. And that was the vibe we we're going for, but now, I will show you guys what it looks like now. You can't really see because it's so gloomy and the light, the window is behind it. So you won't really see it properly, but I'll close the blinds. I'll show you guys with the light on. Um, but I'm so excited to put the sideboard up because I have like styling ideas on my head of how it's gonna look. And, um, but yeah, I'll show you what the chest of drawers are looking like. The styling, how it is now is not gonna stay how it is. Um, I'm just playing around with it. But yeah, we're home for my kit. Amara has of course left a mess of her puzzles on the floor. But we've got the sideboard. Corey's going to build it. When he comes back inside, he's just looking for something for me in the shed. We also got some curtains. That's it. We got curtains for our bedroom and for Amara's room. I was gonna get different curtains, I'll show you guys, for um, the dining room, but instead we just got a curtain pole because there's no curtain pole and it looks really weird. Um, so I'm gonna get different curtains another time. I'm not in desperate need to change those curtains. I'm not that bothered. Okay, so like I said, you cannot even see it because you are backlit, but this is how it is looking. Like I said, you can't really see the wood to the fullest extent, but it is so much darker than it was before. Again, I'll insert a before of what it looked like so you can see, but it's not dark enough. Like we were wanting it to be like dark, um, but it's not as dark as we wanted it to be. So we may just go over it again with the black wash. And then, yeah, like I said, we got these two cushions. I also got this throw blanket um, just for the house for the autumn season. And then these are the two curtains we got we got one for amara's room amara picked this one um we were gonna get a blackout one but it was way too expensive for a child's bedroom i just said let's just do our own blackout and then our one is this one i will leave them down below as well if you're interested also got some curtain poles which are here and then this is the sideboard which the sideboard the sideboard is going to go over here so i'm so excited to get this sorted like i said these are the curtains we have in the dining room not that thick at all. I really actually like them. I got them from Ikea as well. The only thing we need to do now is put on the curtain pole, which we have. And then everything else is yet to be done. But I will take you guys along the journey. It is super, super dark in here. We need to turn some lights on. And then I'll check up with you guys a little bit later. Pause. It's Thursday and I want to show you guys a new addition. I look like an egg. I'm sorry. We completed the sideboard yesterday. Please excuse my hair. I'm sourcing out today, but I'm just coming on to show you guys the updates of what we've done downstairs, the stuff we bought for my kit, the curtains, all the little bits, and I'm going to round this video off. I'm not going to round it off looking like this. Don't worry. I'm just going to show you guys briefly before i style it and then i want to show you guys how i'm going to style the sideboard this is the sideboard what do we think what do we think i know you guys saw the brown ones and i had a couple of people message when i put it on instagram if i was going to get the brown one because if you don't see my dining room we have a lot of dark furniture and then we have the brown wooden floors but i thought black would be nice we were going to get the um the brown one with the paneling we just got the black best a sideboard unit it's black brown i can see like little brown streaks that's what it's looking like right now and that's a mess we just have to organize and put everything in its place i'm at that point where i'm huffing and puffing and taking deep breaths after every sentence but anyway all this is going to be cleared now 
I'm literally about to um, give it a wipe down, give it a dust and look at how I'm going to style it. And then we've got the chest of drawers. So what I'm thinking is the lamp is going to go where the sideboard is. And then I got this book stand from um, Amazon featuring my, of course, my new obsession, the Brandy Living book, which I'll link back both of these down below. Um, I saw one in H&M Home, but it was like... A stupid price for a book stand actually it was one of those that was like the flat book stand so the book would have been flat but i wanted the book excuse the huffing and puffing you guys you're just gonna have to deal with it um i wanted to show the book like open so you can see it and um, so i can feature a different page of the book so yeah i'll leave this down below it's literally just a wooden book stand this is going to be sorted i just brought down some of my magazines that i'm going to put on the sideboard but i did say that i was going to go back over it will we yeah, I think it is a bit. Look at the sofa, it's like such a mess. I got two new cushions from Ica. I think I said this yesterday. I got two of these long cushions just for some variation. But yeah, we'll probably do another um, layer of the paint wash method, but I do really like how it looks. It looks much better than it did before. And I do like it in this corner. We were gonna put a armchair here. I do like the chest of drawers and it adds much more storage. Like we've got storage. a million different storage places now. So we have enough room for all of that. We've got to sort out this down here. And then actually today, we'll see if you guys can, we'll see, actually no, I'll show you guys today because Corey's gonna go pick it up. Excuse the banana, excuse the plugs everything's coming together we're getting a coffee table we got it from marketplace and um corey's going to go pick her up soon and i'm going to do a little diy project on it and make her fit the space a little bit belly's getting bigger by the day um, i'm going to get ready for the day get dressed and then i will give you guys a little montage of me cleaning and styling and i will show you what upstairs is looking like to show you the final results excuse the ladder Corey still needs to put up the second curtain pole up here that's the only thing we really have left to do but to say I'm obsessed with how this has turned out is an absolute understatement I decided to move the lamp over here I just thought it would make the space look so much nicer ignore the lamp um, ignore the ladder again but with the lights on I just love how the space comes together. Um, changing the flowers, I'm gonna add our table runner as well. We decided to push the table over to the corner, over, <laughs> over to the corner, just to add some, I don't know. I just thought it would look nicer over here. Let me know, excuse the tripod, let me know what you guys think of how everything's turned out. I'm so incredibly happy. I moved the plant over here as well. Now everything is just in its space, like all Corey's tools, has been like all over the place so now we've got places to hide them away and to organize and Amara's toys can go in there when she wants to play downstairs we sold the little white chair that was over here and then we've just got this chair from Bellani I'll leave it down below um, the second one is in my bedroom upstairs as we move over to here it's the chest of drawers let's turn the light on and our new light shade I love this lampshade Corey's not entirely a fan, he preferred the white. We got the sofa, I need to change up the cushions, the new blanket we got from Ikea yesterday, and then we got the side table with the styling. This is not how I'm gonna leave it, but I really, really like how it looks. Oh, that's sleek, I like that look. I'm so happy with it. Very nice. I'm very, very happy. I quickly just wanted to pop in and show you guys the coffee table. I don't think I showed you guys in the vlog. Um, I'm currently finished editing the vlog, but I just wanted to show you the coffee table. Corey picked it up. It is much bigger than um, the girl on Facebook said it was, but I'm really happy with it. Love the shape of it. I think it fits this space very nicely. But of course, you know me. You should know I'm going to DIY this. What should I do with the table? I'm thinking of doing this black. But not like straight black, like a black wash. Kind of like the chest of drawers over here, but not quite. I think I might make it darker. So yeah, let me know what you think I should do to the coffee table. Finally, we have a coffee table after how many months of living in this house. But definitely going to do a little DIY. So stay tuned for the next Home with Just episode. And let me know in the comments what you think I should do with it. But yeah, I also done my hair. I washed it and put it up into a bun. So I feel just nice and clean my cardigan is from h&m i didn't do the haul for you guys i said i would do the haul of what i got from zara and h&m 
it will have to be in the next vlog because this vlog has been very home centered. I'm extremely happy with how everything's turned out. I was saying to Corey, it feels like two different rooms because the dining room is so much like darker and moodier. And then the living room is like brighter, more nudes, more color, a little bit like down there's more yellow because obviously we have the pendant light and then the lamp down there. But all we have left to do is to put up the curtain rail for there. But I just, I love how everything looks. I'm very, very happy. But yeah, you guys, that is the end of the vlog. I'm actually about to sit down and edit this and get it out for you guys the same day, fingers crossed. And then Sunday's video will be me and Corey's Q&A, just switching up the um, schedule a little bit. But that's all for this vlog. I will leave everything I mentioned down below in the description as well as all the IKEA links and everything. I'm now gonna chill and I'm going to edit and have a nice resting day at home because I feel like I've been out and about, which is a good change for me because you guys know I don't leave my house. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be at home for a little while. So I hope you guys don't mind. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Let me know your thoughts down below. And again, hey to all my new subscribers. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. See you in the next Say bye. Love you always. Bye.